as we get ready for game two of the American League Division Series presented by Doosan on FS1. It is the champions out of the Central, the Minnesota Twins, and the East Division champion New York Yankees who took game one last night by a final score of 10-4. Sunday lineup tonight. Kepler, Polanco, and Cruz at the top of the order with Rosario, Garver, and Arise. Tanaka, 30 years old, an all-star, and in five games in the postseason, he's been at his best. A 1-5-0 earned run average in October. Tanaka's 1-2. Ground ball right side, and it's second Glaber Torres for the first out of the night. You mentioned three solo shots. Down no one from Tanaka. Polanco oh. gets hit. And the Twins have their first base runner tonight. Who lets the 3-1 fly and Cruz reaches out, swats it back to him. It scoots by and no play. So the Twins have him at first and second here in the first inning. Home of the 1-1, Rosario pulls on the ground to first. LeMahieu to second one. Gregorius back to first to double play. And so Tanaka's out of the first inning, and the Yankees come to bat for the first time after this. Lemayhew, Judge, and Gardner at the top, with Encarnacion, Stanton, and Torres to the teeth of the lineup. Sanchez bat seventh. Tell us about Randy Dobnak, the pitcher. We learned about the path to get here, but what is he like as a pitcher? Well, I think he believes his stuff is like Nolan Ryan, and you got to have that belief <laughs> if you're going to pitch in a game like this and the life that he's had. coming to this stage, this ballpark, this time of the year, and be good. Well, the biggest thing is you got to believe this is something you've always wanted to do. Down the line to right, Lemayhew starts his night. With an extra base hit into the corner. Rosario's throw is not in time on a leadoff double from Amehu. All right, 24 year old rookie, tell yourself to throw a hanging breaking ball or dip it down and away in a walk. And that's where most of the pitches are going to be. Amehu at second, judge at first, and a 1 2 from Randy Dobnak. Lifted to right center field. Kepler and Rosario. It'll be Kepler for the first out. Runners both tagging. Judge heads back to first. And LeMahieu takes third. You make me nervous as a pitcher. That is over the glove of Polanco to give the Yankees a first inning lead. Encarnacion drives home LeMahieu, and it's 1 0 just like that. At a person that results in an out, resets your brain a little bit. Soft bouncer to third. Sano goes to second one. Arise to first. A double play. That'll do. Ah. <laughs> Wouldn't hit that hard, but a double play to limit the damage for Dobnak in the first. But the Yankees strike first. Above the strike zone. They tried a couple times. They do get into chase here. Rarely do you see that from Arise. Tanaka gets his first kick. Tanaka looking for a one, two, three second. He's got it as Sano chases the slider. The Yankees with a one nothing series lead. Have that tendency on pitchers. That shot to right. Rosario makes the catch. And Torres the first out of the second. The Dodger wrench. Oh, Dodge a ball. Dodge ball. Uh huh. That is a swinging bunt. It spins inside the bag. And an infield hit for D.D. Gregorius. Well, D.D. could use that. He's been struggling down the stretch. This team can erupt at any time. Here's Shaw. Pulls a base hit to left. Eight. Mentioned earlier, you know you're facing a deep lineup when you've got Gary Sanchez hitting seventh. How about facing the guy out of the ninth spot who hit 314? Bouncing ball to short. Polanco's got it. That's the inning. The 30 year old out of Japan who rocks and deals a 3 2 pitch to J.K. And strikes him out. His third. Back 
back-to-back K's burying the slider. To the bottom of the third, the Yankees won, the Twins nothing. Edge opens the bottom of the third for the Yankees. Rookie Dobnak comes home and Judge bangs a base hit to right. He's been on both times. They get off this third with a single. There's 28 major league innings for this guy. He's blocked Gardner in the first two Yankees reach in the third. Another base hit to left center. Played in a bounce by Cave. They stop Judge and the bases are loaded. Encarnacion two for two tonight and four for seven this weekend. So Rocco Baldelli aggressive taking Dobnak out of the game. Bases loaded, nobody out third inning. Is it off to Tyler Duffy with a base is loaded and Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. So if you think he's swinging, you got to throw your best secondary pitch. You think you can. Those opportunities. A lot of pressure on him this October. He lifts one to center field. Back goes Kepler with room. He will drive in his first run as Judge comes in and it's 2 0. On a sacrifice fly from Giancarlo Stanton. Rips this one to left base hit. Torres gets Duffy again, drives home Gardner, and the Yankees have a 3 0 lead. To have to make quality pitch after quality pitch. Hits him with an 0 2. And the base is again loaded for New York. Maybe all season. Great time for that with the postseason arriving. 1 2. Crushed down the line. If it's fair, it's gone. Grand slam, Gregorius. The ultimate crooked number six so far on the scoreboard in the third inning. Allowing the game to slip away, which changes your pitching rotation of who you pitch. And unfortunately for the Twins, they weren't able so far to stop a big inning from happening. The Yankees have batted around here in the third. Rocco Baldelli, another trip out of that dugout. You're going to see the fastball and a slider. And a curveball. He's got the kitchen sink he can throw at to this point. 2 2 to Judge. Cracked the right center, his second hit of the frame. We're talking 25 pitches an inning in this series by Twins pitchers. Yeah, and the old. Goes after the first one and pulls it by a rise into right for another base hit. Rosario's throw goes to third. Not in time. Lemayhu's in to score, and it's 8 0. On an RBI single from Brett Gardner. O2. Climbs the ladder and sends a majestic pop fly left side of the infield. It'll be Polanco or Sano, and Sano makes the catch. Put it into a seven run third inning for the New York Yankees in command in game two. Well, when you don't do that to the Yankees, they're going to look superior. That's a walk for Cruz. Division playing it out and cinching and clinching. Here, this is about trying to be perfect. Eddie Rosario lost the ball to the gap in right center. That'll drop in for a base hit, sending Cruz to third and the Twins at the corners. But this is what I'm talking about. These are the small victories that make you start feeling better about you. Still gets one on 3 1. Tanaka goes with a splitter and it's served to the right side for a base hit to get the Twins on the board. So Mitch Garver with an RBI single and it's 8 1. Pineda, Odorizzi, 
might have been a different story so far. Arise down on strikes for the second time. And Pineda had been pitching really well prior to the suspension. The 0 2. He struck him out. He's got six. Pitching with an 8 1 lead to the bottom of the fourth. And really doing a nice job in his return so far. Strikes out here. One gone in the fourth. And as Gleyber Torres comes up, we go to Tom Verducci. See if he shortens up in this 0-2 hole. Ha! He's guessing something else. Took a breaking ball for strike three. Strikeout number seven for Tanaka as he chases the fastball up. Tanaka's 1-2. Popped up. On the left side, that's Urshela to finish off a 1 2 3 fifth on 10 pitches. In the area of their strength, that they say we're not going to show a crack. Rising line to the right, Rosario's back on it to the edge of the track, two out. For Aaron Judge. And you're talking about an MVP. All four. It's Walks here. It's going to be hard to compete with what he can do if he stays healthy. There goes Judge on a 3 2. The Gardner swings through and finishes off the fifth inning. All Yankees here in game two. It is 8 1 to the six. Despite having thrown just 83 pitches, just one run through five innings, hands it off to Canley, who pitched in game one as well. And so the more guys you use, as we talked about then, the more opportunities for something to go wrong. Polanco swings and misses at 97, one gone here in the six. Canley's 1 2. And a 1 2 3 6. Rod Sharper tonight for Canley. So you're going to have to take the approach that I'm going to be aggressive. I'm going to be aggressive with my pitches in the strike zone. Ah. And I'm going to start limiting the opportunities for them to get the three, four, five run innings. Another long at bat for Stanton. Seven pitch inside ball four. One out base runner for the Yankees. Kenny, how about the rest of the series for Twins pitching? First one to Torres. Softly hit off the end of the bat. So no to second for one. In time at first, a double play. So they go 5 4 3 to finish the inning. To the late innings we go. The Yankees in front, 8 1. Against Adam Adovino. Adovino throws across his body, creates a tough angle for right handed hitters, and he has that sweeping slider. First division title since 2010. Arise into the gap in right center field. That one gets by Gardner and extra bases for Luis Arise. Second double in as many games in this series for the rookie. When you're facing some of the elite pitchers, Sano strikes out for the third time tonight. Then they can start eliminating pitches. Fly the left. Well, Mabin is fresh into the game. He'll settle under it. And we stretch in New York. The Yankees eight, the Twins one, trying to take a 2 0 series advantage. Uh, Cody Stashak comes into the game. Time, the Yankees got a good look at Glaber Torres at shortstop, and they liked what they saw. So the Yankees can go about this any number of ways. The Yankees with Gregorius and Andujar, or the Red Sox with Bogart's endeavors. You're probably taking the Yankees, aren't you? Base hit to center for Urshela. I tell you, that, that's what's amazing about the Yankees and how they didn't really come. Mayhew, of... two on, one out. Lifts this one to left center field, but no big deal for Max Kepler. E.D. tags and heads for third. They're at the corners with two out. The Twins are going to have to reverse that trend, obviously, to get back in the series. Judge has reached in seven of his nine plate appearances over the first two games. Hammers this ball to center field. Just missed it as Kepler makes the catch and sends us to the eighth. Not on the roster with a shoulder issue. Bayern just came over in the middle of August. Oh and two on scope leading off this eighth against Lions who delivers. 
And squeezed by Sanchez, one away. Approach versus the two seam approach, spin in the baseball. It's impressive. So his Lions through two hitters. Three world championships, of course, with the San Francisco Giants. 3 2, sweep it. Good call. Encarnacion was thinking along the same lines. He gets him swinging, two out. No, a good move to get him back in the game. Just get, you know, whether it's one at bat or two at bats, and get feeling better about. Turns this one around, but playable in left center for Marlon Gonzalez. To the ninth inning we go. The Yankees up 8 1. Got ready for the postseason. Here he is, his first appearance in an 8 1 game in the ninth. Cruz on the ground to third. There's Urshela for the first out of the ninth. Boy, swings at one that's face high. Two gone here in the ninth. Because most of the season they were gone. Garver to left center field to keep things going for the Twins, his second hit tonight. And that's what the Twins are going to have to be a little bit better. Arise, lifts the ball to right center field. Judge back on it. It sails over his head. One hops off the wall. Garber's headed for the plate. That is an RBI double for Luis Arise. His third double of the weekend. And it's 8 2. The Yankees roll in New York. And a 2 0 series advantage as it heads to Minneapolis for game three Monday. Three hours, 34 minutes as they complete an 8 2 win after the 10 4 game one win. Impressive game for the Yankee standpoint, and the Minnesota Twins are going to have to regroup and reestablish themselves, which they can do. 